Hi there. As we all know, using the UTB cable in a PoE network is limited only 328 feet. Now, can we extend the network up to 3,200 feet? The answer is yes. Today, we receive a case from one of our customers. So here's the scenario. Our customers need to run internet from a Starlink through the woods 0.62 miles to his house, where he would like to connect it to the network router. And since he'll bury the cable and put the network device outdoor, so it needed to be rated for freezing temperatures. Now using the UTP cable is more trouble than it's worth because you'll need many extenders and cables for it. And the internet speed will drop down to 10 megabyte per second, which is useless. So today in this video, I'm going to talk about how to extend our network up to 3,200 feet in a simple, easy way. Now, before we get to the video, if you have any problem with your system design, please feel free to click to the link in the description below. Send us a diagram map or some simple drawings, and we are more than happy to help you to solve it. So here we are at the demonstration board. Now remember that I said using the UTP cable is not a good option. So today we decide to use the fiber optic cable and the media converter. Now let's see, this is the fiber optic cable we're about to use. The fiber optic cable can provide fast speed, low latency, and long distance. It can extend up to 80 kilometers, so it's more than enough. Now we only have 3,000 feet today, and the fiber optic cable is pre-mated. So you don't have to worry about the connector and it's 100% tested in the factory, safe to go. Now, we also need the media converter because you cannot put the fiber optic cable directly into the router. So we need the media transceiver to convert the electronic signal to the fiber optical signal. Now, this is the SF peak transceivers. This is where you take in the fiber optic cable and this is usually sold separately because we have to determine what kind of fiber optic cable you use. Is it a single mode or multi-mode or what kind of connector or the distance? Now let's connect everything together. We're going to pick string A today. Let's put this in. And we have string B for spare use. And let's plug in here. And don't forget your power source for our media converter and the cable from our main network. Okay, it's all set over here. Let's connect to the main network, our router. All right, so this side we are all set and done. Let's move over to the outdoor side. Let's pretend this is the outdoor and pretend this is the Starlink because we don't have one. So we use a router instead. This is the power supply set for outdoor use. And this is our outdoor media converter. We'll talk about this later. So let's connect it first. We are going to put the power in here. Let's plug it in. Okay, you can see the power light is already on. And don't forget to use a wrench for your gland and your neck for waterproof use. Over here, we have the SFP transceiver. And don't forget to choose the right strain. We have the A. Let's plug this in here. And also the waterproof gland and neck. And we are going to connect to our Starlink. All right, let's see this side. I'm going to plug this in here. Okay, let's screw it tight. And we are going to connect to our router over here. Now it's all set and done. All the indicators lights are on and we are set here. The whole setup is pretty easy, right? Don't forget our customers needs to put his device outdoor in the freezing temperature. That's why we choose the outdoor media converter. 
the outdoor media converter is able to set up IP devices over a kilometer with the fiber optic cable without concern about bad weather or tough operation due to its IP67 waterproof and hardened grade design. So you can basically bury the whole thing underground without any concern because it's designed for harsh environment. Now, the working temperature ranges from minus 40 degrees up to 75 degrees. And the carrier grade electrical protection is against lightning and power surge. Here are a few more tips for you. If you want to pull your fiber optic cable outdoor, make sure you pull it through the conduit and bury the whole conduit underground so you don't have to worry about it get crashed by cars or animals. The second tip is make sure you pull your cable from the middle to both ends. If you pull your fiber optic cable from one end with the distance that long, the force will apply onto the cable. And when the distance get longer, the force will get stronger. So you may break the cable easily. Now, if you want to know anything about how to install multiple IP devices outdoor, please watch another video about it. Now, thank you for watching today. I'll see you next time.